I want to talk about the JVM and garbage collection. While I'm going to talk about the Oracle JDK in this section, it also applies to the Open JDK. JRocket is also another JDK which is quite similar, but the terminology is a little bit different. Unless your application has rather strict pause time requirements, first run your application and allow the VM to select the collector. If the performance distilled does not meet your goals, then use the following guidelines as a starting point for selecting a collector. But probably the only one that you want to actually specify, I think, is this Use Concurrent Mark Sweep GC. This is used for when you want to minimize the amount of pause times that your application has. Maybe for a stock trading application that can't afford to be unresponsive for a period of time. So I'm going to move over to this Memory Management White Paper 150215 on the Oracle website. So the Java heap is broken up into several sections. Uh, young generation actually includes even in survivor spaces and the old generation. So this is the heap memory. So as you can see here, objects that have no longer being referenced by other objects become eligible for garbage collection and that's where they're marked with an X. If they're still referenced, then they're moved into one of the survivor spaces. And objects swap between the from and to survivor spaces several times. And if they're still being referenced after a relatively long period of time, then they're promoted to the old generation. Unless, of course, you run out of old gen memory, and then you're really in trouble because you're going to get an out of memory exception, the concurrent mark sweep collector. And what this does is it reduces the pause times. As you can see with the serial mark sweep compact collector, there's a long pause time. And if you want to avoid this long pause time, then you can use the concurrent mark sweep collector. In the initial mark, the pause time is minimal. And then there's one thread that's dedicated to garbage collection through the processing of the application. And a remark happens with, on multiple threads. And concurrent sweep continues in a parallel thread. So if you decide to use concurrent mark sweep, you can set the properties using the standalone.conf file for standalone mode or domain XML file for domain mode. To use concurrent mark sweep in standalone mode, edit the standalone.conf and add the JVM parameter for this part. Notice that I'm adding it right after where you set the maximum heap size. In domain mode, in the host XML file under default JVM, Add it to the Java ops value here. Now, for setting the max heap size, go to the standalone conf file, which is in the bin directory. Standalone conf is for Linux machines or Mac OS as well. Also, standalone.conf.bat is the one you edit if you're on Windows. So, since I'm running on Mac, I'm going to use the standalone conf and you can change the maximum heap memory size by this setting here just change this number and for the minimum heap size set this number here in domain mode the domain xml file defines a server group so your server will be running in a server group and that server group references a jvm name from the host xml and then what it's done here is it's overridden the settings from the host xml file so this is the actual settings that will be used in this case. If we didn't have these heap sizes here, however, the default sizes from the host XML file would be used. In the host XML file, it's also possible to specify a JVM setting for a particular server, not just a server group. So as you can see, server2 is a member of other server group. But if you want to specify a max heap size for only server 2 then you can add a JVM element to the server tag to the server and specify a max heap size here so that's how to select a collector and set java heap size on jboss